What we saw today was the continuation of a series of protests in recent weeks. At the end of August, protests erupted to decry the ongoing blockade of the Gaza Strip. And today, calls for protests were renewed relating to events in Jerusalem. Yesterday, several Israelis entered the Al-Aqsa compound, also called Haram al-Sharif or Temple Mount, under the protection of the Israeli police on the occasion of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Now, this is seen as a major provocation and violation of the holy place for Muslims. One man was seen playing the shofar, the ram's horn, as it is custom for Jews this time around, but performing rituals of worship is perceived by Palestinians and the Arab world as a violation to the sensitive status quo on the compound. Now, according to Palestinian reports, Muslim worshippers under the age of 50 were denied access to the compound yesterday. Today, the Egyptian foreign ministry issued a statement calling for a halt of the, quote, provocative actions in Jerusalem and Hamas, the ruler of the Gaza Strip, incited new protests on the border. Yesterday, six Palestinians were injured, among them journalists, when Israeli forces reacted with riot dispersal methods to the attempts to launch fire and stones towards the Israeli side. Today, the call for protests was renewed. Hamas used the events in Jerusalem that they called in a statement, quote, Zionist settlers' exploitation of the so-called Jewish holidays to increase their aggressive incursions into Al-Aqsa to call for new demonstrations along the border. Now, these protests included, again, the burning of tires and throwing of stones towards Israeli forces. And now, already as a result of yesterday's protests, Israeli forces, Israeli politicians had announced that the Erez checkpoint connecting Israel and Gaza will remain closed today, even after the Rosh Hashanah holiday, due to security concerns. And this has consequences for Gaza residents. More than half of Gaza's population lives in poverty, and leaving the Eres checkpoint closed for a day means a severe economic hit for more than 17,000 workers who simply could not get to their workplaces today. And this is widely perceived by Palestinians as collective punishment, as poverty is a main issue in Gaza. And it endangers entire families' livelihoods and might fuel the protests as a display of anger. Gaza is in a tough spot as Qatar too is currently withholding billions of dollars in funds mainly used for the payment of civil servant salaries. Israel said it would re-evaluate the security situation later in the day but it is controversial if this policy will calm the fronts as it contributes to frustration and instability among Gazans. And as far as the protests go, Israel might use its authority over Erez, over the Erez checkpoint to pressure the protests into dying down before opening the crossing again. This is Piaz Tekelbach reporting from the Gaza border for I-24 News.